Hello everybody, so recently at Games has changed their method in getting your coin ops X files to run on the Legends Ultimate Arcade. It's pretty much just mounting the drive to the cabinet, but there are a couple steps you need to take to get that working correctly. So anybody who had a flash drive of a previous coin ops X build will need to update to this new method if you've updated your cabinet, which means my previous video on how to do this is now obsolete. Let's get started with preparing your flash drive. It is highly recommended that you use a larger drive for this, no smaller than 64 gigabytes. You wanna go into the disk management program and there's a couple ways to get there. You can open up any folder in Windows Explorer, I chose downloads and go to this PC. Right click the icon and go to manage. Under the computer management screen, click disk management and you're there. Another method is to go into your search box and type in disk management. Click on Create and Format Hard Disk Partitions. Both methods work, so it's up to you to choose how you want to get here. The flash drive we're using is under Volume G. We want to right-click this partition and go to Delete Volume. You get the notification that all data will be erased on it. Click Yes. And now that drive is showing unallocated. We're going to right-click on our unallocated drive and click New Simple Volume. Click Next on the pop-up. The first volume size is going to be which partition the Legends Ultimate Arcade uses when formatting for Flash Drive X. So you want this volume to be 16 gigabytes. Under the simple volume size and megabytes, we're going to enter 16384. Click Next. You're going to assign the drive a letter. We'll use F. Next one more time. Under File System, change it to FAT32. Click Next and then Finish. You should now have two partitions on one flash drive. You have the 16 gigabyte partition that we just formatted and more unallocated space. We're going to do the same thing on the unallocated space. Right click, new simple volume, next. We're going to use the rest of the space on the drive, so leave these numbers alone. Hit next again. This will be our G drive. Next, change the file system to EXFAT. Click next again, then finish. Now both partitions should be complete, 16 gigabytes FAT32 and whatever's left under EXFAT. Once your flash drive is set up, the next step is to add your games and files to it. There are a couple ways you can go about doing this. The first is to curate your own list of games to play on the cabinet, or you can go online and find a package that is already set up for you. If you're gonna make your own list of games, and I'm gonna point you to my older video which will show you all the necessary steps to get that done. And once you have your games and files set up, you can come back to this video to continue. But if you wanna go the other route, which I highly, highly recommend, recommend because making your own list can take a very long time, this other method is much easier. I cannot recommend enough that you look for the unofficial CoinOps X Arcade Version 4 Secret Sauce Edition. It is an amazing compilation of arcade games. If you have a favorite and it'll run on the Legends Ultimate Arcade, it is more than likely in this version. And although it is unofficial, it is recommended by the CoinOps team themselves. If you want to find the version 4 Sauce Edition, you can ask around in the CoinOps Project Discord. Also with this method, you don't have to worry about finding bezels, art, videos, it's all put together in a nice package. So for the remainder of this video, I am going to demonstrate using version 4 Sauce Edition. Once you have it downloaded to your PC, you're going to have something that looks similar to this. You won't have the background or screensaver folder. That is my personal things that I've added to this. You should have the COX folder, UCE, and a bunch of README text files. You want to take the COX folder, UCE folder, and any other folders that you've created, right click, copy and paste them into the root of the second drive we created earlier. Make sure you pick the second larger partition, not the first. Now we're going to open up the add-on X tool and click the choose button. Click the drive letter where you added your COX files, then hit OK. It should appear in the input folder box. Then click build at the bottom right. Because there's so many files, this is going to take a very long time. Make sure that you let the tool run its full course and when it's finished, you'll get a done message at the bottom. If we go back to our flash drive, you'll see we now have an add on X folder. That's all there is on the PC side of things. Now we're going to safely remove our flash drive from our PC and we're gonna go take it to the Legends Ultimate Arcade and we'll continue. Once you've inserted the flash drive into your cabinet, you wanna go all the way to the right to settings and choose the flash drive X option. Select format and you'll get a pop-up asking if you're sure you wanna format the USB drive it will only format the first partition of the drive that we created earlier. Hit A to select yes. 
After a few seconds, you should get the notification that the format was successful. Now go to the mount option, hit A. Hit A once again on yes. Once again, a few seconds later, you will get the notification that the mounting was successful. Hit A to dismiss this box. Hit B to go back. Go over to the App Store X tab and down to CoinOps X. Hit A one more time. It'll ask if you want to install CoinOps X. Go over to install and hit A. And we have the notification that the application was installed. Hit A to launch the application. And here we are with the stunning CoinOps front end. Hitting up and down on the joystick cycles through the list of games over on the right side. They all come with their own background art video lit up marquee that blinks every now and then. The Sauce guys really outdid themselves. Like I mentioned before, if you are interested in an arcade game, it is more than likely included in this package. Not only is it probably included, but the controls have been optimized to run with the Legends Ultimate Arcade perfectly, such as the ability to use the spinners or the trackball to move your paddle with Arkanoid, or using both joysticks to move your character and shoot in Smash TV. And because there are so many games included in this package, you can fast scroll by letter by hitting the Z button to scroll up or the C button to scroll down. And that's all I have for you guys. If you have any questions or you need some help getting this set up, I'll leave a link to the CoinOps Discord in my description below. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about CoinOps X and how it runs with the App Games Legend Ultimate Arcade. What are some of your favorite arcade games that you would add to the cabinet? How awesome is it that you can use the original controls with these arcade games with the spinners and the trackball? Are you more interested in getting the Legends Ultimate Arcade or the Legends Gamer now that you have the ability to add these games and really make this the perfect at-home multicade? As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. This is the part of the video where I thank those users who support the channel through YouTube memberships and Patreon. Door, Rick67, Travis Morton, Geode, Jason Holbrooks, James Burkhart, Mike Muniz, Red Silvers, Sam Torres, Yaroslav Orudzov, Andre G, Din Cardoso, Red, Dirtnap79, Lenmare, James McEwen, Jeremy Mullins, Bob, Travis is Win, and Batman.